watching. Now, I put out a video before about the origin, uh, origins of the races of people. You know, where did the many different races of people come from? And I got into that video and we talked about OCA 1 and 2 and we talked about uh, vitiligo. We talked about um, this genetic change that obviously occurred, you know, a long time ago and where uh, the many different races of people come from. And, you know, clearly, you know, they came from African people, and the African people was the original man here on this planet, uh, unless you go with evolution theory. And it's a reason why evolution theory is the way that it is and why it's structured the way that it is. It's, again, a part of uh, white supremacy, and it's a reason why uh, it is the way that it is. So if you follow evolution theory, if you just follow, um, we can skip going all the way back to uh, cyanobacteria and, you know, involving to single, uh, from single cell to multi-cell and more complex organisms and so on and so forth. If you uh, have my series on Saturn Satan series on DVD, we got into some of this. So I'm going to touch on some of this stuff, but not everything that I touched on on the DVD. But so you want to get into some things to help me prove my point. So we're not going to go that far back. But let's just get to the point, the part that matters, which is basically when we start getting to primates. Now, a lot of people are confused about, uh, you know, how we evolved, you know, how we got here. Now, science tells us um, we did not evolve from primates. We didn't we did not evolve from chimpanzees, that we share a common ancestor with primates. Now, the problem with that is we do not know what that common ancestor is. Now, it's highly debated. Some of the people uh, I got into in the last video about how it was taught that black people were descendant from monkeys. And we have monkeys blood and everything like that. This was obviously, you know, during the, um, during the end of slavery and uh, into the 1800s when you had uh, people like Darwin and people who was really trying to decipher uh, the genetic code and um, to figure out where we came from and how we evolved or what have you. But yeah, it was put out there, we know, with the uh, Pilt Town Man and everything like that when it was trying to say that um, we evolved from monkeys. We know about the human zoos when they had black people in zoos and it was basically cascading them around as being evolved from monkeys. We know about Otabanga who was forced to live in the zoo with a monkey and everything like that. So it has been this um, history that white people clearly believe that black people evolved from primates, from monkeys. So this is something that is uh, white people still carry that belief. Uh, they shout it in racial slurs. I've seen it recently. So um, we're going to get into this technically and officially. As far as what the records clearly show and what science really says, because, again, it's still this misconception, this misunderstanding about primates, about chimpanzees. And science is clear, clearly telling us we didn't come from them. We didn't evolve from them, but we share a common ancestor. What does that mean? Now, when you look at the evolution chart and you see that we have primates and you see from chimpanzee. Uh, you have Australopithecus, which from Australopithecus or Homo Australopithecus afarensis or Homo Australopithecus uh, africanus, uh, which they believe are, are related, you will see from that line, it will lead you to uh, humans. And if you follow that line, you'll get to uh, the Neanderthal eventually, uh, evolving from or supposedly coming from uh, Homo hodopergensis. So... There's an issue with Neanderthals, and um, I know a lot of people are not going to agree with this. A lot of people are going to debate it. A lot of people are going to be, um, you know, outraged by it or not, but I don't believe in Neanderthals. I think they are a fabrication, and um, none of you have 100% clear proof, only what you have been told that they actually ever existed. Now, you can talk about bones, and we can get into, into that, which is why I mentioned the whole Pilt Town Man, where they fake bones and that whole thing, and that was proven that they faked it to make it look like um, uh, it was uh, the missing link or what have you, you might as well say. 
But it's proven and they are on record as faking stuff like this. And I'm going to break it down and use their own science to show why I don't believe in um, the Neanderthal and why I think it's a fabrication. And um, you can go off of that and you, you can believe what you want to believe afterward, but you won't be able to refute this video and the evidence that's in it. Now, the whole thing is, if we go from Homo australopithecus and follow to Homo erectus and you have the Asian Homo erectus and uh, what have you, all the way up to uh, uh, Homo um, heidelbergensis and Neanderthal and um, eventually you'll get us Homo sapiens and then they put in 2010 the, the, the Denise events, uh, supposedly have found bones. Now, this, it's important to note that they have on record that Neanderthal bones are the most found bones in the world, as far as, uh, I guess, humans or, you know, wh whatever they're calling this stuff. So the whole purpose, as I mentioned, white supremacy before, is if you believe that Neanderthals are real, that Neanderthals actually existed, then you are saying that the uh, ancestor of the white race or the white race was here before black people, before the African race. Because clearly on the chart, they have the Neanderthal before the uh, Homo sapien. And it's an important to note, and I use this same chart in my DVD, and I'm using it here because it's really important and it helps prove my, prove my point. And if you look at any other chart, it will basically be the same. But it's important to note uh, why they use or put the Sandman there. And I'm going to get into that later. Now, again, we'll go back. Let's go back to this chart and look at the primates and look at the definition that they are giving us and what they are saying, I should say, uh, about us not evolving from primates, but sharing a common ancestor. Now, an ancestor is somebody that came before you. Now, if you look at the chart and you go back, where did that ancestor come from? What ancestor are they talking about? And they will tell you they do not know. So that's where we get this whole missing link. There's a missing link between the primates and Homo australopithecus. It's a missing link there. And we talked about this. We're going to get into this now. But understand that the Smithsonian will also tell you that they have no idea where Homo australopithecus came from. But they believe that it's related to Homo uh, australopithecus africanus and afarensis are basically related. The Lucy bones are Homo australopithecus. Now, this is the actual Smithsonian's website on Homo australopithecus africanus. Now, I want you to note and look down here. It says, below are some of the still unanswered questions about Australopithecus afarensis that may be answered with future discoveries. I'm only going to read the first two. That's all I need. One, it says, Australopithecus africanus is currently the oldest known early human from Southern Africa. Where did it come from? Saying clearly, they don't know where it come from. These are questions that, that are still not answered. Where did it come from? Question mark. Was it a descendant of Australopithecus afarensis from Eastern Africa? Number two says, is Homo Australopithecus africanus part of the lineage that led to our own species, Homo sapiens? Question mark. That is huge if you understand it. It says, again, I'm going to read it again because it's important. Is Australopithecus africanus part of the lineage that led to our own species, Homo sapiens? Question mark. Now, understand, for those who don't get it, if they don't know if we evolved from it, then what the hell is this? What is all this up here? What is this? What's this doing here? If they don't know if... Homo sapiens evolved from Homo australopithecus, then why do they have this lineage here? Why do they have this evolution showing that you have 
the Homo sapiens and you have Homo erectus and Homo hydrogenesis and Neanderthal leading all the way up to us. They, they, they don't know about it. They don't, they're not sure. So Bob put it up there. So again, pay attention. This is supposed to be a huge question mark there. It's another missing link. So we have two missing links. So if they don't know if we evolved or if the uh, evolution from Homo australopithecus africanus or afarensis, uh, if they don't know if we came from them, then this is all null and void because they don't know. So, one, the explanation for where the white race comes from is that Africans made it with Neanderthals and gave us the white race. And anybody with a brain can see that that's bullshit. You got to live in a third world country to believe that nonsense. So, again, when I say to you that Neanderthals is bullshit, they are a fabrication. This is what I'm talking about because there is no way that, as I said before, a super dark Kunta Kente black African, Michael Blackston looking motherfucker, can mate with this monkey looking, you know, brute, whatever the hell it is, and produce a clean cut white boy like Tom Cruise, like Julia Roberts. So you mean to tell me that a black African can meet with this Neanderthal and produce white people? On what planet does that happen? But this is their explanation for where the white race comes from. Now, when I did the last video, I showed you that they come from us clearly. And now, recently, we have seen, as I put in the DVD, that the geneticists and the scientists have isolated the mutation of what happened and how white people went from African to the white race and it's basically been proven they isolated the gene from zebrafish and they took the gene the mutation that is that exists in all white people they took the mutation from an actual human and injected it into the fish and the fish grew back its stripes showing that it's the exact same mutation so it's already been proven and then you had, since in 2010, they came up with this whole Denise Evans uh, crap. I believe it was a little bit before that. And they gave us, before that, the Asian Homo erectus. So you had the Chinese go out and do their own research to see where they came from. And the video is out there already. I put it in DVD that you can see clearly that they, they tell you themselves that they came from African people. So the question of evolution, the question of where the races of people have come from has been proven. And it's a common sense proof that it's up to uh, people to accept or to deny. You know, so what I put in the last video, I put it there so you can see with your own eyes, you know, where they come from. So, you know, getting back, the reason why the Neanderthal was created, why they put that there is so that these white supremacists, these people who don't want to admit where they come from and don't want you to know because then they can't, you know, keep us separated with this whole racial issue shit, this whole racial tension, tension stuff. If we all knew we came from the same place, that we are all the same, then we wouldn't, you know, we wouldn't argue so much. We wouldn't be, you know, shouting all this crazy shit that we're shouting if everybody knew that they came from black people. So they put this out there, this whole Neanderthal, so they can say that, well, wait a minute, the Neanderthal was here on the planet before the Homo sapien, so before the black race, which is why on the chart they have a sand person, which the sand people are from South Africa, and they are lighter. So you have never seen darkness come from light. Two white people can only produce white. Two white people cannot produce an African, but we can see what the albino, that black African can produce white. We can see the mutation that happened that caused the loss of pigmentation. It's been proven. We can see what happened. You can see with vitiligo, a black person turned white. What more proof do you need when you see Africans with blonde hair and blue eyes? Red hair. All the attributes that white people possess, we know Africans was here first and they possess those same attributes. So common sense would tell you.
But since there's so much hate in the world, you know, so much racial tension, you know, it's hard for a lot of people to accept these facts. And um, it's right in front of your face. So when you go back and you look, you know, at the evolution chart, when you look at, you know, where is this missing link? What is it? What could it possibly be that, that fits there? He just told you they don't know where uh, Australopithecus africanus or afarensis came from or if they even related or if we evolved from them. So if we share a common ancestor, what the hell is it? What was it? Now, you mean to tell me that we have we have the Lucy bones, which the Lucy bones, if you remember, Lucy is uh, Homo Australopithecus. That's where her bones are. That's what it is. But um. If we have her bones, and I've seen them go and dig up supposedly million-year-old dinosaur bones and reconstruct an entire dinosaur from that DNA, from the bones. But we have this uh, Homo uh, Australopithecus, Alpharensis, and Africanus, and they don't know where it came from. But they're going to tell you that Neanderthals came from it and that Homo sapiens, Homo erectus came from it. When it says clearly on the site, did... Homo sapien evolved from it. it. says it clearly. They don't know. So how can it give us the chart? So, you know, again, common sense to tell you ain't no way in the world an African and Neanderthal is going to create a white man. It's just not going to happen. The Chinese already proved them wrong doing their own DNA testing showing that they came from African people. So... Of course, the media will not reveal this to the world because it'll basically destroy prejudice and racism. And it would get people to open their eyes and see what has taken place in that. You know, our institutions, our uh, elected officials, this whole government system is responsible for the separation because they choose not to put this inf information out there and to let people know the truth about it. Because, of course, you know, they couldn't control us if they did. So imagine if your kids grew up, if all kids grew up knowing that they came from the same place. They came, they just have a, an evolved version, or I should say, a different version of black people. We all, we all come from Africa. So, again, this is a, a very touchy subject, but anybody who digs into it and does the research is going to come to the same conclusion. And it's a very... Very, you know, it's easy conclusion. So again, when I got into in the first video with Oculacutaneus, OC8, 1, 2, and 3, and what have you. And again, the carrier, patient zero, will always have different symptoms or, you know, yep, different symptoms than everybody else. It's just the mutation is different. It's the carrier. It's different. And, you know, when you put it out, it's like it's like cutting. Like when you, when you start trying to cut a drug or, you know, uh, dilute something, then it's obviously going to be different from the original. And this is what we see with OCA. The only people who contain uh, all the traits of OCA is African people. The second group of people is Japanese, as I talked about. So that tells you that patient zero is the African race. And if OCA is hereditary, how the hell could every race on the planet have it if we are not the mother and father of every race? So this is what the proof and the facts is showing you. So now no matter how you slice it, when you look at it, you cannot get the white race without African people. And this is not to brag and say that, you know, we're the master race and all this and that. This is just facts because stuff is put in place to create uh, hatred, to create hate, to perpetuate and uh, keep in place white supremacy. But when you look at it, you see, no matter how you slice it, you can't get the white race without the African. 